We are working with a Chinese businessman here and his passion has been for a very long time to establish a maritime museum and we've worked closely with him now for the last couple of years. He supports us. Uh, he's, we would have left Miri, I think, prior to that. Once um, our project had been put on hold, we probably would have done some cruising. But it's the fact that uh, we've had that encouragement and that support and we have been informed that it is possible for us to establish a maritime museum here or a museum. It doesn't necessarily have to be maritime, but a museum. And so we don't bring anything up that we can't handle that will be damaged by the air. We only bring up um, artifacts that are a size that we can manage with the vessel that we have. At a later date, when we have a larger vessel, uh, which is we've been informed we will have, we will go out and we will attack this from a different angle. At the moment we have a smaller vessel so we only manage what we can with our vessel. We bring it back, we've set up this room as the artifact room and once we have enough impact we will approach the right authorities which will be the Sarawak government to donate a building here in Miri and support us in this being established for the uh, tourists and Mirians alike to uh, know, to know what existed 170 years ago, that they were able to, that they had blueberries for goodness sakes, that they, they preserved grapes. And um, you know, I, when I think of Christopher Columbus, when I think of Captain Cook, I just think of them arriving. I, I never thought of, the, I thought they had cabbage and dried bread. I had no idea they had champagne. I had no idea they had grapes and boysenberries and blueberries and that, that they ate so well, that they had the capability of making corks. And that those, what were those corks made from? What were the different, why did they have the different glasses, the weight of the glass? They actually stored them inside each other. This is the information that will come out in that museum. This is the information, it just won't be the artifacts, it will be the history of how the bottle was made, how that bottle was stored. Uh, and they'll even have examples of the content there. And so it will be, I think, a really interesting interactive museum is the way that I see it. And we will have, we've been informed, we'll have a hand in setting up that museum as well. And so going from farmer to you know, uh, sailor to archaeologist to museum creator <laughs> is uh, fantastic. It's very exciting. Yeah.